In previous lessons, we uh, created and we checked the details of a product document that actually started a workflow uh, process. In, in this lesson, we are connected to the graphical user interface, um, the classical graphical user interface, just to with the with the, the user, the trainee user, so we can show um, what is the next uh, manager that could uh, check the document and approve it. For this, we need to open the SAP Business Workplace. So let's just click on the third icon of the toolbar here. And we need to open the Outbox um, section to show the started workflows. As we can see, we only have one line because we have only parked one document with these uh, uh, characteristics. And at the bottom, we have all the detail uh, what the steps have been completed and of course even like the dates and start and end time for the workflow uh, processes. But actually we want to get to see the details and the, the possible agents that can continue the checking process. So for this we have to have the line selected. With the line selected uh, we have to click the um, glasses icon to display. Also we just want to briefly mention that uh, again we are connected with the trainee uh, user and uh, we don't have for example an execute uh, push button that's going to be a difference when we continue the process and we log uh, with the manager's user for the time being let's just uh, double check that we have the line selected and let's click display and at first we have all just the work item attributes of this workflow and like things like the priority um, but what we want actually to see it's the workflow log so let's click on the first uh, push button that we have here on the toolbar for this transaction and this will show actually the workflow log as you can see we have some steps that have already been completed the overall status for the workflow is in process because uh, well, the process has not finished yet but some of the steps have already been completed but we still need to release the document and according to the amount we have the different agents um, to see the possible agents uh, actually uh, in the agent column we only have one push button which is for the last step that we have now the release amount step so let's click on agents and in the pop-up let's click again on agents so now we know that uh, only two uh, possible users um, are uh, well have enough authorization and credentials to approve the document we will actually use the credentials of Olaf Paulsen uh, this is the user um, in the next session to actually well connect to the system using these um, credentials so we will pretend we are we are uh, him and we will check the document and if everything is correct we will just approve and post the status Right now, uh, after we have seen this, we can just uh, close the pop-up and actually we can just um, quit this transaction, we can just go back, back again and actually uh, we can even um, log off of the system because again in the coming sessions we will uh, connect using the um, credentials of uh, the other user so we can continue the process. So. Do you want to log off? Yes. And with this, well, we have uh, quit the um, the system now, and this will be it for this lesson. Of course, we invite you to keep learning with the next one.